afternoon, everyone. Um, so, present regarding the documentation and curator. Um, so my name is Irving. Currently, uh, I work as a software engineer in my company, and I'm also a CNCF ambassador. Um, yeah. So, uh, I also previously a um, culture in Kubernetes. I think the idea is that the biggest challenges from applying the model is essentially the high traffic load for users. And how do you actually kind of like want to manage that if let's say we are not using the software um, kind of um, tools or things like that? And this is not really the right because we just kind of like, um, and we can kind of like optimize the process. So how actually kind of like Kubernetes and a serve kind of like complement each other's deployment? So Kubernetes on one side is actually kind of like a for container administrations, while Kubernetes is actually kind of like Hesperance state. Um, um, specific features, which can kind of like create an ideal environment for deploying and managing of the application. So, I'm not sure if uh, we can take a look at how this can kind of like be part of um, this kind of like a form where we can actually deploy our models. First, the is a sort of package and in a mobile repository, it can be kind of anything like it can be a uh, like and then like the uh, case on the other hand is the uh, inference surface where we apply the on top of the other clusters and then can serve the like, CSA um, resources and we can serve the model which actually loads that time. So it will be available to like the users in the client request. We can see that the inference service it also contains the like specification status and the predictors, which kind of like models that we use and then logger transformer and then there's like model server available and we use well uh, uh, we use that to like point forward uh, our model. And then imagine that we want to plan, maintain our multiple like um model doing some kind of like a testing and experimenting which one is actually better. And then how we want to kind of like observe the performance between model A and model B. So we can actually using like a serve and then on top of that we can doing some kind of like observability and see which model actually performs better. Um, so this is like a like requirement that we uh, we try to kind of like uh, uh, find here. Uh, the first one is there's a uh, difference of uh, lambda model, and then we want to do some kind of like experimentations on top of like the performance of other like metrics that can be measured, and we also want to kind of like put the uh, observability to see uh, like how. Um, what kind of like metrics that we can gather and then logging system and so on. And we can also use the ML service for experimentation, like a tracking. And we use like Kubernetes um, uh, underneath those stacks that we are using. So this is um, the programs that um, like we can define actually. So imagine that we have like clients and then we the API gateway of the Lancer, which is placed on top of like Kubernetes. And we will connect those into the key serve. Um, and we also have the binary deployment controller, which connect it into like multiple models that we have. So uh, we can kind of like which ones that we want to serve into the users for a certain percentage. On top of that, we're also trying to kind of like do some kind of like ID testing, analytics testing the ML tool to see like um, 
uh, like the performance or maybe like the preference of the users and then we also can an analyze the like the learning that we have so this is like the inference surface for the case so in this case uh, we, we use like the storage um, which pointing out to the s3 uh, and we can just plug and play this model um, and we can also do some kind of like canary graphic percentage and then in this like resources we actually can like um, put the storage initializers which will pull like the model from the external repository uh, and this is like a model repository and ml so in the vehicle so that's a bit more actually but um, Basically, using this um, for the performance tracking, we can enable the version control and then trying to uh, the management and like um, try and kind of like um, manage the scalability better. And it will also find a perfect that look for like data scientists or like non engineering people because we can like store. Um, the model in place we are also doing some kind of like experiment um, which can like, be reproduced later if we want to kind of like see um, like what's happening and uh, and this is like um, how we can actually find those in the like ML phase. Um, we can just uh, like design the like a uh, traffic splitting. This is for uh, a bit difference actually between between both the canary and then the other one is like the experimentations. For our canary, we actually try to kind of manage if let's say there is something like wrong with our new deployment then what will we do it's kind of like control really. But for the experimentations it's mainly to see like the like the performance or like certain metrics that we want to try based on like things like the other or maybe like the performance of the model and we can like deploy this um like our ML deployment and this is actually how like the maybe that can let it work um so we are doing like the reference model right and then we will do the work and after we gather like the works, then we will like do some kind of like analytics on those works, which we we can try to kind of like adjust like, the percentage of like the based on like the, the specific metrics that we we want to design. And then like for the using that, it will kind of like modify the like the inference surface, um, and it will. The next split um, between like the percentage of uh, one model and the others automatically. Um, so, this is basically the interaction between a test and canary deployment. So imagine that we have like new model and then we will insert, uh, we will enter the canary phase where it will en enable kind of like control environment for like deploying like new models. With Motor transitions and by using the performance metrics, we will inform the like binary to adjust um, which reference that we, we should increase the metrics on, and it will also like inform the testing phase based on like the traffic distributions and then model differentials. And thus, we, we can kind of like choose which model is kind of like better for us based on like, the data we have. Um, based on the metrics that we have defined before. Um, so I think this one will, will help us to kind of like respond quickly to any kind of like performance changes or kind of like adjusting traffic and that as needed. Um, so the lesson from this uh, is actually a gradual of new model versions. 
and we can also bring like some kind of like metrics that we need so it's kind of like a production decision making for us and there's also kind of like comprehensive monitoring and quick resolution because we are doing working and gathering the metrics and we can manage the and flexibility and model deployment but the whole side is of course like the complexity of the component and then like where is the resource intensive operations so we start to kind of like manage and maybe potential increase of operational costs because we are managing like multiple like um, infrastructure at once and we need to kind of like make sure that monitor how we put like the right monitor and kind of optimize any potential latency and um, of course we also need to kind of like make sure that um, this data is actually um, putting in the data privacy data privacy compliance especially for the like, metrics so um, I think kind of like for the some kind of like optimizations um, we can try to do some kind of like pruning for the model for example and we try to kind of like do some kind of like um, in the terms of like using GP and then uh, when we are like um, surfing our model but we still try to kind of like um, see how much this model is actually kind of like accurate or not and track down the, um, the performance of it uh, when we are doing some kind of like epic in our deployment so this is like an example of how we can do actually so we are defining like what like we um trying to do some kind of like fine tuning uh, with some environment variable and we we kind of like deploy these to our systems right and then we can try to uh, and getting like the metric um that we define for and for like the security um we can also like think about um we try to secure like um our software in general but uh, managing the traffic from one model to the others um we just i think it's uh, something that's quite nice um, given that like kubernetes actually already has um, things like the network policy and then like the spec i think that's it from my presentations for now Uh, if there is any questions, then. Not then. Nothing.